uh, I had a particle man, and I had a rock to wind a string around, and I had a uh, whistling in the dark. What else? Oh, and I had the bird, bluebird outlet song. What was that called? Uh, Birdhouse in Your Soul. Yeah. Make a little bird birdhouse in your soul. I bet that sounded like crap on your end. On my end, we were perfectly in sync. Sounded awesome. Gonna sound awesome on the show. Hey, the show just started. This is episode 42. Load the game, because I am getting drunker by the second. Oh, <laughs> well, we're gonna get going then. No time to waste. We have to <laughs> beat... You gotta beat if my the, liver to the, the punch. Yeah. If the uh, alcohol has time to circulate through your system and get to your brain before we finish, <laughs> we lose. Oh, oh God. crap. The alcohol has apparently already, you know, it's done its, it's way mischief. too late. I am... <laughs> that Those eyeballs are my eyeballs, and I am dying of jaundice. I don't oh, think you can actually God. die of jaundice. Oh. God, what hell have we entered? That drink was, must have been laced with something, because... <laughs> oh. It was almost exclusively... motor oil and spit. Okay, we, we had a, a topic that we were supposed to come back to as soon as we got into the show. It's too late for that now. I can't remember what it was is. It, was it Orson Welles related? No, that's that's something we got for after the show. We're gonna go and find that video of Orson Welles, or not not a video proper, I guess, but like Orson Welles shouting at some dudes in a recording studio. Right, and then we also have semiconductors, but that's another thing for after the show. Yeah, that's a that's a pleasant video to fall asleep to. Man, talking about uh, P gates and N gates. I don't let anyone restrict my P gates. You know. If uh, if you could see my face right now, you would perceive a uh, expression of utter confusion because I cannot remember what it was we meant to talk about. Some about video games. That was the thing that that like you're like. I'm oh, Madden. Yeah. It was about we the, were, fa uh... the fact that Madden came out originally in 1988 yeah. and was. A DOS game? Oh, and then we started talking about how DOS windows used to come up when you started a game. Yeah, I remember, like, uh, back way back in the day in, like, Windows 3.1, you would actually have to, to, to run certain games. I don't remember which. I was, I was, like, six at the time. I mostly watched my brother start video games for me. But they're... Ugh. Hang on. You got too much. Got to throw some stuff away. Oh. You don't even, what do you even need the magic tart for? You don't even need that. Just forget that. Look, man, this magic tart is happening, so just come to peace with it. I'm, I'm eating Everything the magic else... Tart. Everything you have is better than the tart. You're a tart. Whore. Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> uh, it's the same as the Apology pudding. Apology accepted. It is equivalent to the pudding, so that's fine. See, you, you got rid of something that was equivalent just so you could have that. Well, we needed 40 PP anyway, and we're gonna use it when we get to the boss. Okay. Anyway, go on about back when you had Windows 3.1 and you watched your brother. Well, first of all, let's go back to the fact that Madden has been going on for like 25 years, let's which is pretty back. incredible. Oh, let me go back. back. Nah. To your primal instincts. You don't want me to go back to my primal instincts. There's gonna be some some weird furry shit going on here. And it's gonna get nasty in a hurry. And look, nobody who watches our show, by which I mean literally nobody, uh, has time for that. Hey, I saw the other day that we had like five views on an episode. Are you for real? Oh my god! What the yeah. hell is? What the hell is that? It's a carefree bomb. It's a conehead. Remember that movie, The Coneheads? Do you not remember the movie? Was that, but... that Saturday Night Live skit before it was a movie? Yes. Yeah. Uh, now there's a interesting cultural phenomenon when Saturday Night Live skits become movies. That's that's kind of always been going on, mostly unsuccessful. Always, 
Yeah. I mean, I remember It's It's Pat was a movie. A terrible movie, and, let's be clear. Yeah. Uh, but, like, the Blues um, Brothers, that started off as, like, some SNL shit. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm suddenly at a loss, was, but, like... Was a Austin Powers originally an SNL thing? No, but there was some... I feel like there was some Mike Myers thing that was... Wayne's World, for God's sake. Wayne's World and Wayne's World Oh, too. yeah. Uh, Wayne's extremely World. successful, and also, like... Genuinely funny movies in their own right. They're okay. I can get down with some Wayne's World. Agreed. Uh, you know, we're kind of doing what they did. Except instead of public access television, we just have, like, universal access internet. Yeah. Public access... To, uh, YouTube is the, uni is the public access of the 21st century. It's all just... The, the uh... Uh, barriers of her entry are much lower. Yeah, even lower. And now it's like a lot of like 17 year old girls whispering in your ear. I should probably not be saying this. What? Uh, please. Where is this going? <laughs> no, I, I. Back away! I have my pants on. I just want everybody to know that. I am wearing pants right now. Do you, are, are, are you honestly wearing pants? I swear to God, I'm wearing pants and I've got both hands on the controller and neither of them are also touching my wiener. Are you wearing pants, or are you wearing shorts? I'm straight up khakis, man. I don't own another kind uh, of pants. Where'd you go today? I went to the store and bought a bottle of wine and a bunch of soda and some regrettable Chinese food. Ah. I mean, there's You're not really... You're living the dream, man. I know, right? I feel like a king. A king I should of... make a movie about you. Impossible and China. Your... And your decadent lifestyle. Yeah. They don't really touch should. that statue. I, I don't have any intention. It's gonna splash around in the swamp of sadness for a while. See if my horse drowns. You know what I'm talking about? Wait. Yeah. Horse what? drowning. Who's got a semi now? You know what I'm talking about? What? I, You're not my I'm, parole I'm officer. So... Are you? Who are you? <laughs> What are these, uh, like, spires coming up around? What are the pink and green spires? What's that? They represent your mother. But there's no problem, so don't yeah, worry about some, it. This always comes back to my mother. What is it with you and my mother? Is there something I should know about? I, I think you should talk to your mother about that. Well, I'll give her a call. You can't see it, but I've got the smarmiest smile possible on my face right now. Uh, I'm gonna hit F2, and we're gonna go do battle with the evil half of our psyche again. And see if we can't give it the business. What? Okay, I'm ready. He's the evil we part of our brain. We lost last time, didn't we? Yeah, we died. We, we, we couldn't decide if it was a supposed to lose fight, so... Right. But this time, I think we've got, we've got max HP and close to maximum PP, so we should be able to take this thing down. You can't beat me. <laughs> Consider my disdain, statue. As Michael Jackson would say, just beat it. No one wants to be defeated. Beat it. Because you are the one who forced me into the Annie! Well, are you okay? Is my. Are you okay? My response to that. Annie! Are you Annie? okay? Annie? You've been hit that. by. You've been bashed by. A smooth criminal. Get the wee shit out of here. Ha! Uh! Oh god, now we're blind. I'd like to thank the Academy. He looks like an Oscar. Oh. Why? Why does he look like an Oscar? Son of a bitch. That was... Also, does he have horns? Yes. Is that... So it's a devil. I guess. Wow. Uh... Or a... Or a Saturn. Shit. Either a devil or a Saturn. Crap, we're 
blind. I need to do something about this. Uh, healing. Let's get a heal on. Yes. Jesus Christ! I oh, know he's a tough one. I I honestly thought you did pretty freaking well last time, so. And there's really nowhere to damage. There's nowhere to level yeah! up in this area, so I mean they can't expect you to be in a high level. Yeah. Uh recover. There's gotta be a trick to this. What do we know about the many many statue? Damn it! It's got a shield that deflects our attacks, makes us hurt ourselves. Like an asshole. Is it, it in what context did we destroy it before? Uh I think we just wailed on it till it died. I know, but like, what, what else was going on? What, we had just gotten out of Moonside? It, it was the boss of Moonside. Oh. Uh. Well, so in both, in both cases, you were in a strange, uh... Shit. Like, other plane. Yeah. I need to use an item. Uh... Yeah, look at your items. We got, we got virtually nothing. We got a bunch of PP restoring items and garbage. Oh. It's got this shield is getting ever stronger. It's just gonna. I don't get it. I know that's why it's making me think we're missing. Is there a, uh, uh, is there access to your, you can talk, can't you talk to your sister and get access to your other items, the ones that you, uh, put in storage? Possibly. If we die again, I'll check on that. Uh, it, it, it might be possible, maybe we can get, like, the defense shower or some shit from, from Rob Z or the neutralizer. But I think he can only use that stuff, but I could be wrong. Maybe we just give it to him because he can't do magic. But there's, I mean, maybe we've gotten a quest item recently that... Yeah, maybe, maybe someone else is holding it, or some garbage. Yeah. Mm. But as you said, for now, just keep wailing on it. Yeah. Gonna... Let's wail on it as much as we can wail on it, for now. Wail to the greatest extent possible. Uh, and in the meantime, drop a drop a hot sci film on him. Uh. Is this a good uh, example of whaleys? No. Are we whaleys because we're whaling on it? No, whaleys are not present at this point. We spent oh. the the preliminaries to this episode of the show was over <laughs> four hours of incomprehensible fucking nonsense <laughs> that. Would shatter the mind of the most hardened veteran of the psychic wars. Like this is we, hardcore we, nonsense. Like we made a, a rather meandering path through, uh, you know, your reading speed, <laughs> and I've been reading a lot of gay furry porn lately. Let's just be clear. <laughs> oh, what's uh uh all, is it all because of uh Jimquisition? Is that no the, the, that my bizarre predilections considerably predate Jim Sterling receiving uh oh. receiving uh gay furry porn from his constituents. Um. But, it's a thing. Yeah, it's happening. Thought. It's happening right now <laughs> as we speak. Weird shit going down on the internet. Uh, the internet, man. Now there's a place. Yeah. Don't. Never will you find a more wretched hive of. You know. Bad. I hear some. Shit. I hear some people say 
that the internet is like the new public access. Didn't we say that like 10 minutes ago? <laughs> Am I going insane? <laughs> yes, who's, you are. Who's fucking with my medicine? That's from the internet. Yeah. I recognize that. I went to the internet once. It's a mistake. Just don't. Wait a minute. What? Are we in the inner? Are we're still in Poland, right? <laughs> what are all these, you know, Stan internet Stan users doing here? Status law. Listen. Oh Jesus. Uh, life up. Life up quick. Shit. Life up. What are you doing, life up? Getting taking hits, man. It sucks. Uh. You've got a life up to get down. That's right. Uh, every time we attack this thing, it just builds a better shield. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh. Well. Fuck me. 89,004 no. experience. That's a quantity of experience <laughs> that I can get behind. I'm into it. We're like the government. We're very particular about we need exactly the right amount. Ooh. Let's take a break from all this gay furry porn and talk about the familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Same thing, really, but... That sounds like an interesting topic. On a scale of 1 to 5, I would say my interest in this topic is a 5. Damn. Strong words but from a strong Very word. interesting is the descriptor. How, in, in terms of dollars... How interested are you in making me push the L button to advance this dialogue? Whatever. I'd say about 45000 a year. That is considerably more than I make now. Let's do this. Listen carefully. In fact, that would, that would, that would create a marked increase in my standard of living. Really? <laughs> yes! That is a huge increase over my current salary. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean you're going to increase in your standard of living. If you were making $45,000 a year, are you honestly saying you would move out of your shitty apartment? My apartment is fine. Stay there because you... Exactly. So, it's not like your standard of living would increase. I would be you up would to my happen. ass in Cristal Champagne, man. Okay. Literally, I would be splashing around in a pool of it right now. Yeah. Everything. A, a, like, Wait. Perhaps a child's blow-up swimming pool, full of it. Don't be a fool. Wait. You don't have a. You don't. Uh, sh hold everything. This dialogue box has something to say, and it's misspelled. So I think we're about <laughs> to have unverse? a great time. <laughs> everything in the unverse could be destroyed at the hands of Gaius. What's so? What's wrong about that? Just, oh, they're in trouble. He's got a weak point. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold. Oh. Who is telling us this? The Sea of Eden. A familiar voice. Pay attention, Fair man. Voice, huh? They didn't specify who the voice sounded like. It's because... Oh, hey, snap! I, I'm a boy named Lars. The familiar voice is our own voice talking to us. I bet that would be super I creepy. approximately fit this description. <laughs> Let me get my driver's license out and double check. <laughs> Listen, man. Free your mind and know what you and must know. do. And no. Come to peace. No. What you must do. Your destiny has been altered and died. That sentence went completely to pieces. Your destiny has already okay. been decided. You, I, to get where should we go? To Disneyland. No, this is like the the, the <laughs> shitty Matrix movies. Everything is all subtext. What is A? You know what A is. It's like, why the I, fuck are we talking? Dude, it's not subtext. It's text. <laughs> I'm reading it. <laughs> Saturn. Sa Sa Saturn. I can read that. It's written in Roman characters. <laughs> Saturn Valley, yes. Talk to some oh, traveling agents to go over to the Saturn Valley. We have to go back to 
People who speak in an annoying font. <laughs> Racist. We must be quick. Lord. I couldn't get something <laughs> simple like Georgia or Bodoni. My or... company uses Tahoma exclusively. It's a that's a web safe font. Damn right. You could also use uh, Times New Roman or Verdana or what are some of the other ones? Every computer and every with? phone and every tablet should come with every font. There's no excuse for it. It's 20 fucking 13. Okay? What? Well, dude, fonts are. Once you get a bunch of them, they take up quite a bit of space. Fuck off! Why doesn't every computer have Futura? Futura is the best font. Our speed I'm is, not... like, skyrocketing. Futura is a great font. Damn right. I'm not gonna lie. What is going on with our stats right now? Are we... Are we gonna die if I don't press L fast enough? Oh, God! Instantly, after several minutes of deliberation, Lars's mind cleared. That was kind of cool, actually, that whole... Little thing you just did. Yeah, that was freaking me out. Like watching the HP get way too low. Well, we have psychic powers. We've always had psychic powers. What? Catch up, son. <laughs> I forgot about them. We haven't used them for anything meaningful in like forty hours. What do you think PP means psychic points. Power points. This isn't Pokemon, you idiot. Yeah. I'm leveling up I, in a honestly never, I've honestly thought it was PowerPoints this entire time. You're a fool! Are you serious? It's, Holy it's shit! Psychic powers? Max... Yeah, the, 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 all of our... The magic is called Psy! P-S-I! I figured it was the Greek letter Psy. I'm gonna flip this we, desk over, I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> We also have all those, like, teleport beta? Why wouldn't we have Psy attacks? But they couldn't render a Psy that was convincing in this terrible <laughs> font that they're using. No, they're all they're all psy psychic and psychic. This game doesn't have magic. It has psychic powers. So it has magic? Don't be an idiot! It's not magic, it's psychic powers. It's not magic, so it's all... brain magic. We're all becoming, like, theosophists now? That's... that's the lesson of this game? I don't even know what that means. Tell me what it means. Uh, it's... it's like a bullshit philosophical movement back in the... Or like, around the turn of the century. Sounds good. Tell me You more. can research it. No! You can look it up. I won't. The only way There's I could place. possibly learn about this thing is if you tell me about it right now. Oh, I don't know enough about it to tell you about it. It's like a crazy ah, new age kind of... Wait, we're all like, places at once. What is happening? We're going oh, up at the speed of light. This, we are spinning at the speed of light. This is actually kind of awesome. We are all places simultaneously. Oh. So we have all the sandstones, soundstones, sandstones, soundstones. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, our soundstone is gone. Oh, crap. Right. Well guys, something tells me we should go to Saturn Town. Now I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> so don't say it. So shut up! You kept saying something about Saturn Valley. Rufio! I don't even know why you're here. <laughs> I should just toss your dumb ass off this cloud. I hate you so much. I feel like I've known you for about five minutes. Even despite all the... Oh, 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 oh. ...tribulations we... And every solitary <laughs> second of it was pure torture. You rat bastard. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? What's up, dog? Why don't you go back to China, India, Tibet... Unnamed <laughs> Far Eastern locale. Yo, dog, why don't you go back to Unspecifiedistan? Yeah. Do you want slumber? Dude. Sounds good. Not really, but hey. Went in Rome. Hey, bro. Oh, 
right, well, now we got defense spray. That's nice. Oh my god, look at Lars's stats. This is insane. Dude. That is... Why do we even need the other characters? Yeah. Let's just take our bat and go cave guy. Oh! Jesus. Have those people always been here? Has no. Has that statue always been here? No, this is all brand new. And I want nothing Talk to, to that do statue. with it. Nope. No, t t go. Nope. I, you don't go back right now. I'm. I'm talking to Trash Can Man. That's it. We're done. <laughs> what? Did, what did this thing? This dude say he wanted to do on my body? <laughs> I can repair your body. Boing. Uh, things I don't want to <laughs> hear from my doctor. Boing <laughs> is chief among them. <laughs> Do you want me to operate on you, ding? No, sir, I do not. I can repair your body. <laughs> I don't want Dr. Cornholio to work on me. <laughs> Alright. How long have Go. we been doing this, by the way? My, my perception mm. of the passage of time has been dulled by delicious bourbon. Uh... Uh, our recording has been going for 31 minutes and 30 seconds. Alright, cool. Let's talk to these people and see where the spaceship goes and then call it. Oh, are you sure that's what that is? I, I assume it's some kind of transportation device. It looks a lot like the other orb we flew around in. Yo, what's up? It has a, has a Saturn man face on it. Zoom, saith the man. And there's nothing more. Still zoom. Zoom every time. Every single solitary goddamn time. Zoom. It's always zoom with this rotten motherfucker. Haven't we talked to that that uh Einstein looking dude? Yeah. Before? I think this is Dr. And Donuts. I think this is this is um uh Rob Z's dad. Who's that guy in the uh driver's cap that looks like he should be driving a cab? I think he was one of the miners. At the at the desert, who gave us that diamond we used to to set the 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 runaway five free again? Oh, now that that fat asshole is the apple kid. The fate. I totally forgot what apple kid looked like. <laughs> Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn captive, and he stole the device. That's probably po uh, Pokey. Yeah, it's pokey. Fucking son of God damn it. Everything proceeded as planned. You know, I I really imagine Pokey talking and sort of acting like Heaton is a bot. <laughs> the games begin <laughs> No! I wanted to talk to that asshole with stubble. I was just gonna say zoom. Uh, oh. A meteorite that fell... Yes! Well, th doesn't the meteorite become part of the Earth when it falls to Earth? Don't be an idiot. I've said it to you like Zexon 15 times already. Zexonite. It turns into that dude from Gundam Wing. Yeah. Zex Marquis! This letter! I have a letter! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a leader shed here in a child I have rules! And he's like, shoot it down. Forget about it. Don't care what's in that yeah. letter. What do you think? What are you, a cop? I was thinking about that show the other day. How cool the movie is. I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've ever actually like properly watched Endless Waltz. It's uh, it's really dumb, but it's like yeah, it's a it, Gundam it, show for God's sake. But I mean, it's cool. Like, and as as a coda to the show, is, is it um, like suitable? It's like they just revisit all the characters, and they have really. Awesome upgraded Gundams for no reason, <laughs> and it, it's like everything is is completely blown out of proportion and ten times as intense as it ever was on the show. 
Well, at the very beginning, like like some shit goes down, and they have to go recover their Gundams because they were gonna blow them up in the sun, right? Yeah, they couldn't think of a better way of getting rid of them than putting them on a spaceship and sending them to the sun. It, in their defense, like repeated, Regardless. repeated attempts to completely destroy the Gundams with, like large numbers of bombs inside them have failed. So, like, the, the sun get right to the Superman is solution and just throw that shit in the sun. 90 million miles away. You're giving yourself plenty of time to rethink this decision. They go to the moon on a lark in Gundam Wing. And then they, like, blow it up or some shit. So... What I'm saying is I dismiss all of your ideas, and... Oh, God. Dis I mean, uh, the distance between the moon and the Earth, and the distance between the sun and the Earth, are... I mean... You're talking about the distance between oh God. Your, your toes, as opposed to the difference from here to China. That's a pretty cool metaphor. Also, that thing I just came up with that basically on just one-shotted our entire team. So, that's terrifying. Oh, fuck them. Lars is a Superman now. Ooh, we should see if some of our gear will fit these other guys to improve their defense. Ooh. Gear, you say? Yeah, we got that, uh, that cool bracelet in the Creeper world. Some of our equipage... Yes. Our armament. I think you our... might be taking it too far. I think I may have granted you some license, and I think you're... I think you're ruining my life. So, stop it. Yes, that is an improvement. Let's do this. Leroy! Ooh, we should go see the hint guy and see what he has to say. Maybe he's got something, something helpful. Ah! Don't touch that. I, I can't not touch it's it. Floating diamond. It's a mechanoid octobot. Beat it up. That's that's actually a really cool name. Yeah, I like that. It's also a bitch. Pop! I wonder what's inside it. Like, it has that windshield. What's driving the mechanoid octobot? Hmm. The same thing that drives all men. The lust for power. Oh, crap. Oh, you think... You're so tough, now that you just have a red outline? Please. <laughs> ah, he's doing it again. I'm hitting L so hard. Get him. Who's L so? And what do you have against him? He's... He's an inadequately funny joke. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> I admit it. Dude, it's oh, I like was, I was 2 a.m. I was mocking my response to your joke, not your your joke that began it. Ah, I don't care. Okay. Also, the correct I'm response. ready. I'm ready to just get to Guy Gas and... Butterfly, butterfly, tell butterfly, him butterfly, what's butterfly, what. butterfly, 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 butterfly. Hey, what's I'm, up? I mean, this guy... I'm totally sick of this shit. What? Who does Guy Gas think he is? Fire and meteor. Oh! Yeah, that's right! There was a meteor right around here. Yeah, have you not been paying attention to the dialogue in the last 15 or 20 minutes or so? No, I, I, I but I forgot about the meteorite until just now. <laughs> oh, Earthbound. I remember reading the thing, the, the sentence that said, you need to find this mineral in the meteorite. But it has been so long 
since the meteorite since had picked anything up the primary meaningful. story thread of the game. Yeah. Now. <laughs> what is the critical path of now, this game again? We uh, have reason to find this meteorite again. Yeah, take Except it. Except now our hometown is also infested with all these super strong enemies. I was really hoping it would just be full of snakes and crows again, and we'd be able to one-shot everything. Pop! Now we're gonna spend 15 minutes casting fucking life up on everybody. Why does Naomi stop at 1? What was up with that? I, I think it just that just happened to be where she was when the battle ended. I find that a little too convenient to... I feel like even that attack is meant to reduce you to one, or she had something that kept her alive. That's possible. There's a, there's a divine presence in this part of town. <laughs> On this particular path in the, in the middle of the yeah. woods. I say we get up uh, as far as our house and then call it. No, I want to see the meteor. Oh. Get to the meteorite and then... Okay. And then we'll stop. We, we won't talk to the meteorite. We'll just stay <laughs> there for a while. Damn it! You can look, but you can't touch. The ghost of Starman and its cohort. <laughs> Great. Its cohort is uh, a little strange. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He's a uh, he's an odd fellow. Son of a bitch. That's not even fair. Yeah, how about this, assholes? Take some of that. How about how about Starstorm? How do you feel about that, you rotten bastards? Oh, oh it's fair. It's my fair lady. I don't even know what that means. Stop! Oh. That is a hor- Ugh. This sucks. No! Ugh! Oh, that's not so bad. When's the last time you saved? Uh, before the battle. Shit. Before, before the uh, boss battle, you mean? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Run. Nope. I don't think there's any running Escape. from this. Escape. I'm gonna bring back Naomi. Hit. Hold down L and R. At the same time. Escape. This ain't no square game, baby. Yeah. Well, Take it. Okay. Fine. Ugh, that was terrible. You know, I remember in Final Fantasy, I forget which one, but there was both an escape. Like, escape was a move you could select. Yeah. But you can also just hold down L and R. Yeah. And I always found that weird. Or, like, I, I couldn't understand what the difference was. I don't think there was any difference. It's... I like that as far as this game is concerned, we've just been playing this game continuously since, like, the... Since our first session. Yeah. Well, it does not not uh, understand when you, um... Like, take a rest and call your dad and stuff like that. Oh my god, I totally want to eat some steak. Outstanding. What's up, dog? Actual dog, and not metaphorical dog, <laughs> as in my homie. I think his name is Carl. That's correct. We named him, and then he played absolutely no role in any of the events of this game. It's delightful that the game asked us what to name our dog, and then we just left him behind, though. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of a funny thing to do. It's like, well, you would name your dog anyway, so... And he probably wouldn't do anything useful. Is anyone else creeped out by the fact that there are two ghosts following me around? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I remember what we were going to discuss. I was going to ask what the, uh... Or rather, did we already discuss... What determines the opacity of a ghost? Whoa. I, 
I don't think we did, because I don't recall having that conversation, and I haven't been drunk for the previous shows. So it seems unlikely that I would have just forgotten about it. I don't recall, and e even if we did, I don't recall coming to any solution. The problem is that ghosts I mean, are real, and the things that include ghosts usually don't give good rules about what their properties are. Well, yeah, except Ghostbusters. Even then, it's a toss-up. But, I mean, imagine how anytime you see a depiction of a ghost, it kind of looks like whatever person it's a ghost of, right? Except wearing, like, a white, uh, white clothes and transparent. But what determines how transparent? Like, if you're a ghost and you're standing in the sun, are you completely transparent? But if you're in the dark, like, what, where's the light coming from that reveals you? I think ghosts are probably kind of... Hmm. Shit, I just cast the wrong spell because I'm an idiot. <sighs> hmm. I don't want to say ghosts glow, but I feel like a ghost would always be apparent. Unless it... Unless it... That's the problem. Unless it's we're like... single. <laughs> oh. I... I... Oh. oh. <laughs> Single parent ghosts, man. That's that's a tragedy. The problem is the government's just been destroying the concept of the ghost family with the I don't what. Go on. We don't need to dwell on this joke any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Go on without this joke. Joke. <laughs> it's dead now. There's nothing for it. It's like that. Like that dude who'd been stabbed in True Grit. I can do nothing for you, son. I, again, like the problem is like there's... I feel like there's so few shows I could reference or, or like... I, I feel like I have no background. Damn it! That I could use well, to okay, determine, so... like... Shit. What... We've certainly seen instances where a ghost appears out of nowhere. Yeah. Right? Or a ghost so that like, is like apparently already present just like snaps his fingers and shows up. Right. And and like materializes. Yeah. Somehow. So in, is the ghost is that like an ability that ghosts have to to be invisible and then will themselves into visibility? Do they- okay, so do ghosts, like, flex the analog of a muscle in order to do this? Is there a, like, ghost sphincter that causes them to be visible or invisible? They tighten it up and they become visible, then when they relax they go invisible? I, I choose not to- Think about ghost sphincters. Damn it! This sucks! Like, the only person we can act with is fucking Rob Z. And he's got no health and no items. And everything sucks. He's the baddest speed. Yeah, this is not fun. I'm not having fun. Also, it keeps making these horrible noises that make me want to kill myself. And they keep using things that don't work on Rob Z. He stole a luxury jerky? What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> Now we're cooking with gas. <sighs> and then we were cooking with death. Yep. An ignominious end to this episode, I say. A fitting end. Ah, we, uh, we have but... no PP for God's sake. At least we saved. Committing F4. We don't have to go. I don't care. At least we don't have to 
where our last save was. Oh, god damn it. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that was... <sighs> That was the I was worst possible thing to do! I, I was just in the process of describing how fortunate we were to not have to come back here. And then... I didn't hit F2 when we saved our game. God damn it. I'll play this uh, I'll get us back to where we were tomorrow. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> We are a pair, aren't we? I'm a pair of giant assholes, is what I am. No, you're a pair. I am a Tangelo. <laughs> Fuck you guys. We'll see you next week. Later, you unfortunate souls. I can't believe you did that. I thought I saved when I saved. Ah. Uh.